Stop acting free, or I'll shoot. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $128. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver. From friends of WeUseCoins.com and sons of LibertyMint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. That's sons with a U. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's sons with a U. Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Isis Brantley is one of the country's leading African hair braiders. She works with everyone from Grammy Award winning artist Erica Badu to the homeless. She's been braiding hair since 1984 and has turned countless women into entrepreneurs. But now, the people calling themselves the government of Texas put their guns in between Isis and her clients. Seven cops came into her salon and told Isis she was under arrest and took her to jail for braiding hair. Really? Violent crime in Texas must be all dried up and this is all that's left, huh? Government agents claim they're protecting the public because Isis isn't a real barber, meaning she wasn't given a license by the government. Acquiring a barber's license costs thousands of dollars, requires 750 hours of classes, and ends in four exams that aren't even on braiding. The government agents further insist that Isis must have 10 barber chairs and five wash sinks, even if she doesn't have any use for them. Interestingly, the bureaucrats won't force her to jump through any of these hoops if she simply gives up her business, stops working for herself, and works instead for one of the more compliant businesses in town. Her crime, you see, is independence. That's why she's teaming up with the Institute for Justice to file a federal lawsuit against the government of Texas. A victory in her case could promote economic liberty for entrepreneurs throughout the state and beyond. Speaking of unnecessary law enforcement, police tried to stop a group of geriatric veterans from entering the World War II memorial in D.C. due to the government shutdown. The veterans were told by police that they would be arrested if they tried to enter the memorial built in their honor. Guess it was worth defending freedom, right vets? Some members of Congress heard about this and rushed over to cut the police tape and escort the veterans to the memorial. Congress, of course, are the only people who could flagrantly break the law in front of police and get away with it. Plus, they're dying for an approval rating in the double digits, so this move was unique in that they're really the only ones who could remedy the situation. The government agents aren't sure what they're going to do moving forward, but one of the veterans has a suggestion for them. Quote, This is all open. You have to have security around anyway. So why not just let people walk around? This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Here's something you don't see every day. An Austin cop fired his gun at a driver during a routine traffic stop. The man was pulling his wallet out of his pocket when the law enforcer feared for his life and shot at the unarmed man. The court let him go without even a slap on the wrist. The thin blue line is the term for the line that separates the police force from everyone else. What makes this story so unique is that the police chief fired him anyway. Thank goodness. Things are different in Manchester, New Hampshire, where witnesses say that police killed 44-year-old Wendy Lawrence this week execution-style through her windshield, firing 10 shots at the unarmed woman. What? You can't put a price on officer safety. Police claim Wendy charged at the police cruiser, and that's why they shot at her. However, photographs of the incident show no damage to Lawrence's car or the state police cruiser. Neighbors say she was well-liked by everybody and had a suspended sentence for a marijuana arrest a few years ago, so that might be why she tried to get away from police. But the strangest part is that the neighbor who lives right next to where Wendy's car ended up said she didn't hear any sirens, even though this happened at 6.30 p.m. Quote, I heard one loud shot, then a one-second pause, then boom, 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 boom. Wendy owned her own business and had just become a grandmother. Peace News Now is on the Next News Network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and sons of LibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.